Hello, welcome to the reading room with Sylvie here. Today we're going to look at jobs, career, see where we're at, what's going on, what details we can pick up anyway. So I'll let you choose your group and um, I'll see you at the reading, okay? Hello, group one. So we have a few words and um, we'll just look at them and then I'll pull a card with each one. It's professional, kind, committed, open-minded, and collaborative. And what do we have here? We have a few messages. I'll leave them for a little bit. And the first card is the path, where you're going, the direction you're going. Do you need to leave something behind to move up? Because it looks like there's an opportunity. It looks like it's going upwards. It looks like it's a bright future. Uh, going to be tough, going to be challenging. Because in the mirror, there is definitely... Uh, reflecting what you're thinking about what you have now, but it's in a higher level. It's a little bit pushed away. You're going to have some free time and then you're going to catch up and then you're going to be again back at the level where you're learning and, and you're being challenged and it might get um, a bit tough again. But that's how it's going with you. That's how your journey is going to be for a while. It's always going to be uh, going towards it and then uh, either stick through it and manage your way to a different level or switch up and go a different direction but that's ongoing future and here it says you're very close to achieving your goal so um, you're almost ready to take the next level you've been wanting something you've been trying oh you definitely have the strength to do it you can do it it's not even a question it's of whether you can it's a question of when Hmm. Okay, so let me see what you're not seeing. And I'll deal with those words in a minute. I'll just put them aside. What you're not seeing. Well... Success is what you want. You know success is where you're headed for. But what you're not seeing is that people are willing to offer you or bring you in or you be part of the team. Um, yeah, it, it feels like there's uh, you're moving into a place where people are more experienced than you or they uh, have more knowledge or more education. And they know that. They know that they're advanced in some way. But um, they see the potential in you and they're bringing you in. For them, um, you have a great mind. See here you are, have decisions to make and you um, have a way of um, thinking about it, playing with the ideas, um, seeing how things are in a certain scenario, and then choosing, putting your idea out there when you're ready. You're not like rushing into it. You seem to have the experience of understanding how to make decisions and how to put it out there and that's something that they see and that's why they're embracing you because they see that you're a good part of the team you'll fit with them you'll do a good job and they want something like that so they're bringing you in but that's what you want anyway and that's what you'll get hmm so what's coming up again part of the team choosing just choose wisely. It feels like um, it's like a wish. And when you're signing the contract, because it's all about, oh, I have this. I'm so happy. You know, I'm fulfilled. I'm feeling great. But just make sure that um, they're offering you exactly what you want or you tweak what they offer you. Take your time. Here, yeah, you're going to be, uh, again, you're green. You, you're going to be learning. You're going to be uh, definitely almost like an apprentice. Good for some, it could be. And for others, you may have the knowledge or already the experience at that level. And But then there's so much more to go. And, you know, um, yeah, you're going to be part of the team for a long time. They raise their cups to you and you raise the cups to them. And um, 
everybody's happy. Everybody's in the same goal. It's funny because it really feels like you all on the same page, same path, same idea, you know, the end results. Um, you focused on it. That's the word I was searching for. So what would be the issue if there was one, if there is one, or, you know, something you should know, prepare for? Time. It's going to be time consuming, time to go, time to move, jump in, get going, make your magic happen. So it seems like um, you're going to have to like hurry up, jump in it, um, don't think too much. You know, time is innocent, things are moving fast, and you're just going to have to wing it, <laughs> just jump in and get going with it. But um, create your magic, you have it in you, you're going to be fine. The, the solution to any, any anxiety or anything that may upset you or think or doubt is the fact that you just, um, just do it and then things are just going to flow. You're going to be so um, overwhelmed at times, and and then when it you're going to be so like it's almost like I can't do this. I'm, how am I going to start this? And as soon as you start, it just flows out of you. Like you know what you need to do. You know what you need to say. You know where you need to be, even if um, you're not told. Okay. So the near future, I guess. Oh, it doesn't feel right. It's just not it. This one. Not this one. It's funny because I feel like this one and this one. So I'll pick them all up. <laughs> um, the team again. Wow, it's all the team, the whole team. Um, you're growing into uh, someone very productive. Uh, you're going to make lots of money. You're going to um, flourish faster than expected. And you're going to make things happen. And also, um, you have a lot more to offer than they expected. So you're moving in pretty fast. You have your wish. And um, the path is going to be wide open for you. They're going to offer you more, like I said, and more, like I said. <laughs> so um, this is ongoing. But, um, yeah. It's it's really, like, I'm picking up that you're at, at, for some, there might be just someone here that's older. And you have lots of experience, so you don't see yourself as um, starting at a lower level and catching up. Because you already have a huge amount of edu education or experience or you've done um, this before or something. But you realize that, yeah, you still have to learn. You still, um, there's things done differently. It could be the way technology goes or um, there's a new way of working or new attitude. There's something that you don't have. And for others, um, it just... Um, you seem to mature or grow into the position really fast. So you feel like you're going to be um, part of them in a way that you've been there for years, even though you haven't, even though you're still learning and still growing with them. It's just going to give you a sense that you belong and you've just been part of them for a long time. So it's kind of nice. Okay, so I'm going to pick the words. I'm going to pick a card with each word open-minded let's see what the, what is that about because being open-minded is great but I feel like there's a specifically a, a time or a place ah when you're ready to act when they ask ask you to do something they're telling you a direction or they're letting you know that that's this is what they wish from you they want you to go ahead and do it be open-minded to their suggestions it seems to be important Committed. The team is committed. You're committed. Even if things are broken, even if things don't uh, um, go as planned, uh, stay committed because that's just part of the process. Kind. Uh, they're kind. You're kind. Just be kind to the idea. 
They they have wishes. They want you to go ahead and and do it, carry it through, be open minded to it. But at the same time, you know they want things done in a kind way. Professional. Oh, we have five here. Okay. Oh, they want uh, professional, yes. No arguments. They don't um, want people to uh, argue back and forth. They don't want people to hurt each other. They don't want people to backstab each other. It seems to be a big deal for this. Um, they want um, everybody being professional. So that's it. It's kind of, It seems to be a, a policy, something strong embedded in this uh, team. And trust. So trust in the, being collaborative with each other. It's, um, it's on faith. Okay, well, let's pull these messages. Think outside the box. Believe in yourself as I do. That's them, not me. <laughs> uh, sometimes you forget you're awesome, so this is a reminder. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. Hello, group two. So we have some words. I'm just going to read them, and then I'll pull a card for each word to clarify them. And it's respectful, decisive, open, able, and work in progress. So I'll pull them out again, like I said, in a little bit. And let's find out what is going on here. So the first card is have faith. Have faith that things are okay, that uh, you're choosing wisely, that you're doing, you're taking care of yourself, that um, you're going to be okay, that uh, the team is for you. If you have a job and there's different people, they're definitely there to help. Could be that you need to ask for help. But, um, and if you are wanting to start something up, you're choosing a career, or you're changing, yeah, there's there's different uh, directions, different paths, different uh, ideas, but definitely think about yourself. Oh, and that's funny, because there you go, uh, the, it's um, decisions, it's um, different um, options, it's all good, it's good, pick one, choose one, but the only thing is, choose wisely, like really do your pros and cons, think about it, um, take your time thinking about it, Ask questions. Make sure you're informed properly. It's um, that way you can make the wisest choice for yourself. But I feel like some of them are not as good as others. So do your homework. <laughs> it says, do you need? Oh, what do you need to release? So I'll clarify that card. Because it feels like for me that there's something that's going on inside um, it's in, it, either in the workplace or uh, with your career that's a little chilly and it needs to be um, warmed up. So there's something either toxic or something that you need to let go. Mm, it's not sitting well. So I'm just going to pull a card to go with it. Oh, this, oh, this one. Oh, decisions. Oh, it's the decisions. That's what it is. How, you're, how do you make this decision? It takes time. Yeah. You definitely, it's, it's, you're taking your time. You got, you have to make it. It's absolutely needed, but, um, it's about time. Yeah. I guess they're not giving you much time either. I feel like you're going to be rushed. Whatever you need to choose could be task. If you're doing a job, they may ask you to do certain tasks, and you got to choose how you're going to do them. You know, pick different scenarios. But anyway, let's find out what uh, you, you're not sure of or what you don't know, and um, what it is for sure that is correct. No, that wasn't it. Oh, there it is. Your wish, your wish is correct, by the way. 
what you what you've been thinking, but what you've been wishing for, and you took a long time to think about it. Yes, go for it, or it's a yes, or you've been questioning um, certain aspects. It's definitely a yes. You're on the right path. What you don't know is time is innocent. Ideas are flying. You have to jump in. If you don't jump in, you'll lose your opportunity. So you need to make the decision. Don't don't sit on it and let them uh, choose someone else. It's like um, they'll pass you by. But you, you can't rush your decision. You need to take your time and do all the pros and cons. But at the same time, you can't let them think that uh, you're not interested. Not saying anything. And then they're like, oh, well, they're not coming back to us. Uh, we need to pick someone else or... You know, or maybe we need to offer it to someone else because obviously they're not interested. That's what I'm picking up. So just make sure you let them know that is your wish. But um, you just need to decide. There's a few things you need to decide. Okay. So what's coming up? Money. <laughs> Lots of money. <laughs> Yeah, this is good opportunity. I mean, it's going to give you all what you've been wanting. You're going to be sitting really good, sitting pretty. I mean, you're going to have the money around you, the work around you. You're not going to be lost for work. It's um, the work is going to be around for a long time. You're just going to be rushing a lot. You'll be you're going to be working like in, in a hurry, uh, or you're going to be traveling and going one dis one place to the other. It seems like it's the distance is there. And you need to, whatever you need to do, you need to bring yourself and the plans or the, the, um, how things are going to be laid out with you. And you got to be tough skin. Like you have to be, like you, you don't need to be protected. You just need to be like, hmm, this is how it's going to be. But it might be hard for you to speak up and, and say so. So, um, but the money is there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's a good opportunity. It's a good career. It's a good job. But, you know, you got to let them know something. Any issues? Any issues you should know about? Yeah, selfishness and lack of, of doing, lack of knowing, not having the skills is not, um, that, would, that would definitely not be something that the company wants or would be serving you. It's a really a give and take. So they're looking for someone who is willing to be part of the team and actually um, interacts in a positive way. They're not looking for anybody that's toxic or lacking the skill. They don't even want you to lack the skill. They want they want people to do their job and they want people to do it well. And if you don't know it, then they expect you to find it. And um, they don't want people to take from the company or take from the job and uh, just serve themselves. They're watching out for that. So they're doing the cleanup. That's what I feel. And they're choosing people that they want to have stay there. They're tired of uh, people not doing what they're supposed to do, so they're not seeing. They're not uh, thinking that of you. That's why they're choosing you, because they feel that you would be good for the job, good for the career, good for the team. Yeah, but the money will be there. Trust. Trust in it. You deserve it. Hard work will pay off. My goodness, you'll be sitting really good. Yeah, hard work will pay off. Definitely. Like, believe in yourself. Follow your intuition. Listen to yourself. I mean, sometimes we have a voice that says, don't do this or do it or go for it. Don't hesitate. Whatever it is, listen to yourself and put your hard work out there and show them what you can do because... Um, yeah, you're going to be doing well. Like I almost feel like you're going to be a boss or you're going to be in charge. 
um, later. Or you're going to be in a position where you're going to be able to state what you want. Because I feel like for some, you're working for a big company. And others, it's a small a little company that wants to uh, grow and, and be um, successful. And they want a positive team. They don't want to uh, be used or, or have people not do a good job because they're serious about growing their company. And the others is that the company's so big that um, they don't have time for people to train people and that's it. So let's find out about these words. I'm going to pull a card and, and then clarify each word. Able. Oh my goodness, able, you're able to make your, to be very happy there, able to enjoy the work, the, able to have them, um, yeah, because that's a happy card, I mean, yeah, they're going to be definitely happy to have you, open, open, yeah, open to hard work, there's a lot of hard work, you're going to have to carry a heavy load. I mean, you're going to be um, having a lot of responsibilities. It could be physical, brain exhausted from um, having to do a lot of uh, stressful uh, decisions or holding a lot of information. Oh, decisive. Yes, don't um, second guess yourself. You you protect yourself. Here is the card of being protective, and. Uh, watching out, watching for yourself, watching your back. But at the same time, um, if that's what you feel like doing, then do it. But definitely be decisive about what you want or how you're going to go about doing it or what you're going to say. Respect. They want respect. They don't want people crying. They don't want whiners. Wow, they really uh, want to get rid of toxic toxicity in the company. They don't want nothing to do with uh, anyone that's not willing to uh, um, be part of the team and be positive. They're, they're, they're done. They're done with that. Management's working for that, yeah. And they want people to it work in progress. They want people to stop... Um, seeing not the good because there is good in the company there's good in the past and there's good in, in the future but everybody's focusing on one specific thing and it makes the place uh, a real downer and it doesn't have to be that way uh, more positivity uh, seeing the good uh, focusing on the right things it seems to be something the company is trying to change and wants it to be that way and um, they're tired of if people don't want to work and they're going to be selfish and and they just want to play around they're just they do, I think they just want to clean house that's what I'm getting assertiveness is not what you do it is who you are if you focus on change you will get result if everyone is moving forward together then success takes care of itself Sounds like that's exactly what they're doing. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Hello, group three. Okay, so um, we have some words here. I'm going to read them. And then I, later I'm going to pull a card with each word. Experience, self-discipline, communicative, observant, and energetic. Okay, so I'll put them here. We have a message for later. Let's see what's going on here. Fear. Yeah, have no fear. You're protected, even though it feels like you're not. It feels like things are very fragile. Things are, are all knotted up. It's like everybody's attacking you, or you're not going to be able to have what you want. There's some type of fear that um, you might be let go. Things aren't going well. There's maybe the, the work is not uh, continuing. Nothing is yet set in stone, and it isn't. So whatever's going on, it's in, it may be in, in a chaos. It feels like, like a tower, like things are being torn down or get rid of, restructured, but for the better, right? And nothing's set in stone, so whatever you're feeling or, or thinking might not be exactly that. It is definitely um, something that you're ready to act on, ready to, t to uh, take action, figure it out. Because it really feels like um, something's not good. 
but you're not you're not afraid per se like for yourself you're you can stand up for yourself it's just afraid for the job or the career that might fall apart under your feet but it doesn't it, it um it feels like it's being restructured in some way and i almost feel like too it's is do is being done in a in a rough way and um not explained not um foretold you know or not um have a notice given notice on on what's happening no oh, hold that so you you're feeling a bit disappointed not a bit a lot you're feeling you're feeling a lot disappointed it's it's like this is not good and you're ready to fight for it but at the same time you're ready to put your guard down like either you give up or you know you're going to stand up for yourself but you might just give up on all of this like you just don't know but what you don't know is you're going to have your wish and it's worth fighting for so stand your ground because that's what you want to do even though you feel betrayed or you feel hurt in some way um disrespected you know something's going on well it's, it's worth fighting for It'd be good for you let me see you have the wheel of fortune choose your words choose because you're emotional or you're you're going on on emotions instead of logic even though you are very logical um they've hit a nerve and so you feel like a, um speaking out choose your words um stay on your ground things will uh end this is going to end and it's going to come in a good way and you're going to receive what you deserve so um yeah it's it's uh, very good unless you did something really bad and you deserve to be um put out or something but but I no that's not what I'm picking up I was just teasing it's uh it looks like really well because it the cycle ends the, of uh, arguing and standing your ground it ends and then it gives you what you deserve what your your rewards and um it feels like a lot of different people are getting the same so it doesn't it's not like they're trying to get rid of staff or trying to uh, take away people's jobs it's just that they have to restructure and it may be on their side something is going on and they're not letting on or they don't want people to know and so it's coming off in uh, some negative way you know justice be fair yeah just um the way to solve this uh not feeling like you have to kind of think about yourself and maybe either leave or take what you can take out of this and you know that um it's almost like well i, I got to leave before i'm fired or i got to leave before things get bad i got to look for another job that type of thinking well actually um say what you what you want and and say what's fair for you and uh, be, communicate to the bosses or boss and be honest and you know stand your ground you're going to understand you know oh you know you didn't you're not appreciating something they might not even have seen it or not cared or thought well what's the big deal you know because their mind and their focus is on something else they're not on their workers and they're not on their employees and they're just not in that level there so there must be something that's going on in a higher level and um it's affecting it's affecting work yeah money's there later they value you and they keep you on because they know that you bring a lot and they're willing to pay you for for your hard work um what you give is what you'll get and um they're restructuring for sure so the ones that are worth keeping they they definitely going to reward them with a better pay or extra money or bonuses or just a better outcome in some way but i see money in your hand so you are receiving some type of bonus 
and if it's not a bonus, it's a raise, or like I say, or a higher position with higher pay, or I don't know, there's something. It's not a whole lot, though. I don't see like a big, big amount, but I do see an advancement in some kind. Something that that's you reward it with. And um, then you're you're working. And the company's happy with your work. That's what I'm picking up. That's I'm going to pull a card with each of these word energetic to clarify the words. Lovers, energetic. They want people to to be um, enjoying their job, enjoying what they're doing. It's the lovers. Self reflect. Just be confident in who you are. Enjoy who you are. Not be afraid of uh, uh, what you feel or what you want. Embrace. Be uh, be a strong partner. Be proactive, energetic, and in, in the fact that you want things to be good. That's an odd one that they put the lovers, but it's definitely um, a commitment. Observant. Yeah, they want people to observe what's going on. Uh, figure it out. Work it out. Do it. Take charge. They don't want to tell people what to do. They want people to know what to do. They want people to say, oh, this needs to get done. Let's go do it. So for them, they need people that... Um, are not, they don't need to be supervised, they don't need to be watched, they don't need the list, they don't need to be told what to do, they just want people to just know what they're supposed to do and just do it, and um, they don't have time for that, they don't have time for people who's going to sit back, they want energetic uh, people that are committed and loving their job and just want to get going on it, experience, they want experience, Oh, yeah, they want people to jump in and grab their experience. If you don't have the experience, go get it. So if you need knowledge, if you need understanding, if you just go find out where you need to get it and go for it and figure it out. So they want people to be very independent, self-discipline. Well, there, that goes with it. I know that card, but this is the one I wanted. Self-discipline. Self-discipline with their money, with their time, with their with their agenda, but also yours. So they want people to, to be um, understanding what they need to do to bring the money in so the money can be around, can be around for everyone. It's success for everyone. They, they have money to hand you money. If they don't have it, they don't have it, right? So communicative, they want people to communicate uh, when they feel stuck. When they absolutely need them, they don't want they don't want people to sit there and after putting the effort of uh, figuring out what they need and uh, trying their best and trying to do really good and then uh, get stuck and then just not say anything. Or like for example, two is if something's broken, they want to be told about it and not oh my geez, I broke, I broke it. And, uh, you know, no, they want to say hey, this is not functioning well or this is broke, or, or this situation is not working out, and they, they want that communicative uh, um, mindset. Hmm. They're quite demanding, aren't they? Because I really, when I'm talking, I feel like they're demanding. Like they want this and that, and that's how it is, right? And here it says, uh, never regret being kind. May your choices reflect your hopes, not your fear. Assertiveness is your ability to act in harmony with your self-esteem without hurting others. So, yeah, sounds like that's quite the company. All right, I'm going to leave it there.